Let's paint some end tables with Dixie Belle paint products. First things first, let's clean our products with Dixie Belle's White Lightning, then assess to make sure there's no chipping or veneer issues and repair with Dixie Belle's mud if needed. Let's stain the tops of these tables with no pain gel stain. I'm going to use the color Espresso, wiped on with a cloth in the direction of the wood grain. No pain gel stain does not require any sanding before application. Just clean your surface well with white lightning. When you wipe it on in the direction of the wood grain, stay smooth and even from one end to the other. Two full coats of gel stain will be needed with dry time in between. Let's paint the doors with drop cloth. Drop cloth is a beautiful neutral color. I want to do a beautiful ombre blend on the base of these cabinets. I started with dusty blue at the base and moved up into pure ocean. I use separate brushes for each color, laying the colors down on the piece. Once they've dried, I do a second coat and ombre the colors together using my spray misting bottle filled with water. Let's add some definition to the cupboard doors. I'm going to use a color called Mud Puddle on the inset part of the panel, blended into the drop cloth using my spray misting bottle. Let's create some stripes. I used Holy Guacamole on the taped off surface on the front of each drawer. I used partial cut up pieces of a redesign with Prima Transfer called Midnight Floral. I applied the flowers to the front of each of the doors. On the sides of each of the cupboard, I use blue painter's tape to lay down some stripes. I use my warm gold gilding wax. I mix it with a little bit of Big Mama's butter to soften the wax and fade the stripes down the piece. Clear coat in satin was applied to the top of the espresso gel stain when it had dried for more than 24 hours. To add a little bit of age to the front of the cupboard doors, I used my Easy Peasy Spray Wax. I applied it and then used my Dixie's Dirt in Earth with a small brush, blended in together and wiped back to show definition. I sealed the base of the cabinets as well as the front of the transfers using my best stain wax and clear applied with a brush. All the products used in this video today can be purchased in the description below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a new video.